If you're thinking about buying a new camera, it's really important to understand the difference between global and rolling shutter, especially as virtual production becomes a new reality for filmmakers. Rolling shutter is much more common in digital cameras today. It captures an image by scanning across the sensor, usually from top to bottom. Parts of the sensor are captured at slightly different times, even if it's a matter of mere milliseconds. The main issue with rolling shutters is the potential for rolling shutter artifacts. These artifacts include skewed vertical lines when panning, wobble when in handheld, often called the jello effect, as well as partial exposure when in high-speed lighting like flash or strobes. And while these shortcomings are inconvenient, it's so much cheaper and easier to produce rolling shutters that they're commonplace in the grand majority of digital cinema cameras. Global shutter, on the other hand, captures the entire image at once. Every pixel on the sensor is exposed to light simultaneously. This quality is especially important for action scenes, VFX work, and any situation where a clean moving image is necessary. Virtual production is the process of taking LED screens in the background of the scene and trying to make it look like your character is in a real environment. The human eye is very good at figuring out what looks real and fake and so if these environments aren't captured perfectly, it's going to take people out of the scene immediately. It's clear that global shutter is ideal for virtual production, but rolling shutters are still very usable. In summary, while rolling shutters are more accessible and cheaper, global shutters offer more reliability and image quality. Do you think it's important for your next camera to have a global shutter?